nothing better than rivalry week in the Pac-10, and there is none better than the Apple Cup. It divides the state of Washington between Cougars and Huskies, and today the sixth-ranked Huskies invade Pullman to take on the Washington State Cougars. John Anderson's going to kick it off as the Cougars won the toss. It is a high, very short kick that is going to sail out of bounds. So the Cougars will have the football. The young man out of Haver, Montana, will make his second consecutive start. He is Matt Kegel, 6'5", 225-pounder, 28 of 63, 413 yards, the 88-yard touchdown pass to Marcus Williams last week. And his only touchdown pass, no interceptions. Wynn and Williams are big on the outside. Meisen is the tight end. Dave Minnick will be the running back for the Cougars as they'll start from the 35. The offensive line is very young. Watch Tyler Hunt in the middle. He will have to battle against Larry Triplett, the outstanding nose tackle for the Washington Huskies. First down from the 35. This is Adam Hawkins, the senior who gets the start at running back. Take a look now at the Husky defense. They are led by that 3-4 front. Jerome Stevens getting the start over Marcus Roberson, who's banged up a bit. Triplet in the middle, Ryan Julian on the outside. The linebackers are Jeremiah Farms, Ben Madavi, the former walk-on, Daryl Daniels, and Jafar Williams. Actually, Anthony Kelly getting the start in place of Williams today. Low and Massey at the corners, Akbar Carruthers, as the Cougars have some problems on the snap, and Matt Kegel is sacked back at the 25. Matt Kegel going to change the play call. I don't think he's going to get snapped in time. He does not. Delay of game against Washington State. Cougs have to get out near midfield to get the first down. And they're going to play it safe, hand it off to Hawkins, and he's dropped for a loss. So the Cougars are back deep for the dogs. Cox gets off a nice kick, a high hanging driving spiral. Butler the catch, and he'll get some room outside. Gets a couple of blocks, and finally down in Cougar territory. Nice return. Marcus Tuiasa Sopo. The sunset of an outstanding career. 11 touchdown passes, almost 2,000 yards so far this year. Braxton Clemens gets the start at tailback. Conniff is the fullback. He could play a big factor in this game. Elstrom, the big receiver. The line is huge. Averages 314 pounds a man. First down, Huskies at the Cougar 43. Tui's first pass is caught. Justin Robbins, first down, Huskies. Quick start for Mr. Tui Asasopo. A look at the Cougar defense. Matson, Ryan Long, Kageika, and Shavies up front. Melvin Camarena, a senior in on the first series as well. The linebackers, Price, Champ Simmons, and Randall Smith. Smith will have the duty of trying to watch Jeremy Stevens. And the secondary, Martin is the senior, as is Maury Banks, Newman, and Marcus Trufant. First down, Huskies at the 30. Looks like Marcus is checking up. He sees Banks on the outside, top of your screen. Hit from behind, falls loose. I think Tuiasa Sopo covered it. Turnovers could be a factor. Second down, 13 for the Dogs. They've yet to run it. They'll run the option. Big hole, Craxton Clement knocked out of bounds by Billy Newman. Huskies in the red zone. Cougars showing blitz. Now they back away. Tuiasa Sopo dropped. Wilbur hooks. Huskies have been efficient in the red zone. They've scored 37 of the 41 times they've made it inside the 20. They face second and 10 here. Tui gets it away. Billy Newman almost with the interception and a whole lot of open space. Big crowd getting into it. Martin Stadium. Here come the Cougars. Tui Asasopo, room to Rome. He was over the line of scrimmage when he threw that ball. There's a flag. Yep. Not going to count. Tui's celebrating, but it's going to come back. No penalty. The play was legal by rule. We're not able to hear the wow. call, but... I think that's a bad call. He was definitely past the 19 and then stepped back and threw it. The line of scrimmage is the 19-yard line. There he is on the 19. He's at the 18. And right? lets it go. And uh, I'm not exactly sure. And they sure. call it a touchdown, Huskies. Flag on the extra point that is no good. Anderson has missed three prior to that one. We'll sort it out when we come back. Huskies with a controversial 6-0 lead over the Cougars.
This time Anderson will drill it. It'll be caught by Curtis Nettles at the goal line. He might have a little running room. He's got Billy Newman as an escort out front. Cougars allowed pretty decent field position. See if they can do something with it. Very aggressive Husky front. They've got Minnick in the backfield now. Kegel trying to set something up outside, just throws it away. Two tight end alignment with Minnick in the backfield on second and ten. Kegel guns it out. It is caught out to the 45-yard line. Minnick the lone back. Want to set the swing to Minnick. He makes the catch. One man to beat. And he got the first down in the Husky territory. First down at the Husky 49. Minnick up the gut. Pretty good little surge on the right side of the line. And he'll get down. He can move. Was it set? No. Out and trying to get set. That's something that'll happen with an excitable young quarterback. But here at Martin Stadium, a lot of the fans decided it was a little too cold. They're going to watch it on TV. Dave Minnick running around. Minnick still free. Down to the 30 yard line. Eagle will roll to find some time. Looks for Milton Wynn. Threw a too tall interceptor. Huskies, the beneficiary of the turnover is Chris Massey. Huskies with it at the 20. Two we change in the play call. Gonna run it to the big fullback, Connor, who gets four yards. Second and about six. Marcus Tuias Sobo facing a five, six man line now uh, versus the Cougars. Looks like he's checking off again. Option. Clement trying to get outside. Not much there. They converted for a touchdown on their only third down earlier. Pressure. Tuias Sopo gets it away. And they've got the first down. Big Jeremy Stevens makes the catch. First down, Dogs at the 32. Deep drop by Tui. Incomplete. Marcus Trufant. Another audible by Tui Asasopo. Little movement on the line by the Huskies. Big Elliott Silvers. Hang on. Ball start on the offense. Five yard penalty, still second down. Kyle Ben being the only junior on the front. Delay handoff. Braxton Clement with a pretty good surge and some six, seven yards after the contact. Third and four now. Look for Stevens in this situation last time. Little option. Cougs have Clement hemmed in. He's going to lose three yards. Huskies are going to have to punt it away. Red ball, personal foul, defense, 15 yards, first down. Boy, that's a killer. You've stopped him on third down. Here you see the activities, and there's a shot by Jeremy Stevens, then another shot by uh, Chris Martin after the fact. So first down, Dogs. They're at the Cougar 49 now. Clement the lone setback. They'll try option. Pretty good first down gain. Second and six from the 45 for the dogs. They'll try it up the gut. Someone will bounce it outside. Pretty good surge and push, and depending on the spot, may have a first down. As the Huskies have another first down, this time at the 38 of Washington State. This time it's the big fullback, Conniff, and he lumbers his way to a first down for the dogs. And they're on the move on this drive. Play fake, Tui to throw. Elstrom inside the 10. Trufant the tackle, but it's first and goal down. Another audible by Tuiasa Sopo. Conniff falls forward for a couple that the Huskies are trying to get into. Has a man wide open in the flat, wants not to throw it right now. Two direct in traffic. Is it a catch? They say no. Ineligible. Third and goal from the six. Caught out of bounds, I believe. No, touchdown, Huskies. Cougars can't believe it. Well, the two officials took their time. Rolling out to his strong side. Floats this one up in the corner. Right there, is he's he juggling the ball? Uh, the ball is being juggled is my ruling, but uh, that's a Cougar perspective. On there, but this time Anderson gets the extra point. Two controversial touchdowns, and the Huskies have a 13 to nothing lead.
three minutes and 20 seconds left to play in the first quarter of Apple Cup 2000 on Fox Sports Net. Anderson to boot it away. Good kick into the corner. Nettles retreats. He'll pick it up at the three. That's a decent running room last time, but going too far sideways this time. And the dogs bring him down at the 17. We've got a flag. Well, that's trouble. Again, moving the Cougars back. Kegel overthrew. And an interception results in a Husky touchdown. Dave Minnick, again, good running room. The Marine puts the shoulder down and gets about seven. The Cougars after they'd stopped on third down, but here comes Minnick again. Got the first down, gets out to the 20-yard line. Huskies could be smelling the roses. Oregon State has defeated Oregon. They're probably tearing down the goalposts in Corvallis. Play fake, Kegel guns it out. Meisen makes the dive and catch. He'll pick up about three yards. Throws it to tight end a little bit more. Minnick, nowhere. Lost a yard on that carry. Not that the Cougar receivers aren't with their numbers. They certainly are. Kegel steps up. Gonna have to try to run it. Gets a block, gets outside. And didn't get there, did he, with the stretch? We'll see. Kind of locked horns with that young man, Matt Kegel, sometime during their high school careers. Minnick on first down. The Huskies bottling things up a little better that time, and it's a pickup of about three. Second and seven. Shotgun for the first time. Kegel going to run quarterback draw. Didn't fool big Larry Tripp, but Hakeem Akbar comes up and puts a big hit on Kegel. That'll be the final play of the first quarter, and the Huskies have a 13-0 lead over the Washington State Cougars. A couple of controversial touchdowns, but the Dogs have two scores on the board in Pullman. Due to time constraints, we move ahead to further action. Walker in at fullback. Alexis hit, falls forward for a gain of a yard. This is the warm weather backfield. Second and eight. Again, Coop show blitz. Here comes Randall Smith from the outside, but he's picked up. Tui guns it out as the completion to Robbins, who's knocked out of bounds. Third and almost three. Spin. Kangaika wraps him up, though. Alexis will not get the first down. Snap kind of floats back. Cougars got close, but didn't get it. Good kick. Henderson will make the catch. And gets a block and gets outside. There's that halo Sonny doesn't like. Field first down from their own 31, trailing 13-0. Kegel, the quick toss, guns and caught Marcus Williams. And does a nice job to run through the Husky defender and get a first down. Eight yards, a little over per pass play. Leads the pack 10. See if they go for something or just try to grind it out. They grind it. And Minnick with the second effort gets the first down and not much more. As you see, some of the mixed Husky Cougar crowd. Got to be bundled up to enjoy today. Here's Minnick, same play, and about the same result. Maybe another two yards. Matched up on win, man to man. I throw it up there. Oh, there's a the movement. Last year at Apple off, Cup man. time. Second down, five yard penalty. Really needing something out of his offense here. Eagle buying some time, trying to get with Milton Wynn. Now Kegel's going to run it back the other way. He's got an escort. Got Locker. What's he going to do? Wants to gun it. And it's caught. McElrath. We got a late, late flag. And that's exactly what it is. Out of the shotgun, Kegel on second and 18. Meisen makes the catch. But he's wrapped up almost immediately. Dog's a little confusion personnel-wise out there. Kegel rolls to buy time, has time, guns it. It slipped out of his hands. It's caught, but I don't think he got a foot down. Looks like he was out of bounds. Kind of the side of the foot. Butler, that ball's loose. Looks like the Huskies have it covered at the 10. Interference against the Cougars, and that's yeah. what it is. Scott Lund. Out comes Tui Asasopo and gang. Caught off the fullback. No. Tuyasa Sopo, the pitch. Alexis, out of bounds. Great play fake, fooled me. First down at the Cougar 41 now. Dogs up by 13. Looking to go deep. Martin is there. Great catch. Is it a catch or out of bounds? It is a catch. Patrick Reddick. Cougs come up with the blitz. Pressure. Tuiasa Sopo alludes to. Gets rid of the football. Caught. Horrible tackle. 
Well, there's a, that's where you let Tui be Tui, guy. Ball down to the 22, game 19. First down, Huskies. A little movement on the right side of the couple of potential honors from Marcus Tui Asasoko. Cougars with 10 in the box and come out of it. Tupo Tupo. Clement, a great catch out of bounds. First and goal, Husky. First and goal from the six. Conniff up the middle. Touchdown, Washington. Pat Conniff with a little help from his friends gets into the end zone. Anderson. Boots the extra point through, and the Huskies have a 20 to nothing lead with 6.35 left to play. In the first half at Pullman, it's all dogs so far. Huskies on top, 20 to nothing. Anderson ready to boot it away. Floater towards the sidelines again. This time it'll be Billy Newman from the nine yard line. Trying to cut back against the block here and finds a little alley. Billy Newman gets hammered at the 30. That game, the Cougars 219 yards to just 61. Well, Cougars first throw coming out of the spread offense with no back. Kegel trying to dump it out to Milt Wynn. The... Minnick trying to bounce it outside. The Marine keeps going, gets out near the 37-yard line. Well, the Huskies have taken the crowd out of it as well. Here comes pressure. Kegel gets rid of it. Great catch by Milt Wynn. Had to reach behind him and made the catch and got out to midfield. First down, Cougs at midfield. Eagle has time. Going deep. Wants Milt Wynn. Tried to adjust. Couldn't quite make the catch. Omare Lowe. Second down now from midfield for Washington State. Cougars desperately need to get some points on the board. They set up the screen and it's... Knocked down by Triplett. I couldn't tell if somebody had caught it. Third down, now and 10. Out of the shotgun goes Kegel. Steps up, guns in. Another drop by a Cougar receiver. Away from midfield, Butler back for the dogs. Has to hang this one. Butler will come up and field it at the 16 and get hammered immediately. That thing's out for a while, you'd imagine. Connor for fullback. Cougars smell it out, drop it for a yard loss. Cougars showing blitz. Maury Banks looking like he might come from the safety spot. Cougs are going to be offside. Just a free play that isn't going to go much of anywhere. Number on his wristband. As the Huskies have a 20 to nothing lead and the football. As we near the end of the first half. Tui on the pitch. This is Alexis. Has running around. Rich Alexis cuts it back. And look out. Trufant on the chase. The Cougars finally bring him down inside their own 30-yard line. First down, Dogs at the Cougar 29. Here's Clement, bounces it outside. Does a great job to get outside. Well, now two tight ends just blasting away. Huskies with 177 rushing yards in the first half, and they add to it here. Alexis will get a couple. Conniff and Clement in the backfield. Play fake. Intercepted. No, he dropped it. Looked like Marcus Trufant. Wide receivers in the game for the Huskies, and they got Big Stevens matched up against Banks, the free safety who's coming now. To a deep, incomplete. Martin, the coverage on Elstrom, and then. But Unsportsmanlike conduct on the offensive bench. 15 yards, previous block. With a 15 down. yard penalty and low snap. And he just tries to goose it towards the sidelines. And they'll do a nice job of getting it out inside the 10 yard line. Bottom of the screen. He's going to hand it off, though, to Dave Minnick. The Huskies do a nice job of standing Minnick up at about the nine yard line. <laughs> I bet he has. Pressure as Kegel trying to throw deep, and Williams is there, and Jesse makes the catch. And goes out of bounds. That'll stop the clock. That uh, Larry Tripp at that time, his jersey is pulled out of his uniform. Not too many holding calls called today. Eagle guns it. Williams booted it off his leg, and boy, he had room to run. Third pass. Cougar receivers have dropped that might have resulted in big plays. 
Keegan last time, here comes the pressure, throws back, he gets absolutely sandwiched, and it's it gonna be incomplete. And Wynn is the motion man. Meisen the catch. Gonna be a little short of the first down. Fourth and one. <laughs> See what Matt decides to come up with here. Minnick didn't get it. Huskies are gonna have the football with 20 seconds left in a timeout. If they try to tack something on here, leading 20 to nothing. Here come the Cougs on a blitz. Tuiasa Sopo gets it away, and it also make the catch. Huskies would probably prefer that he didn't. On an out route to Todd Elstrom. Tui, the pump fake, going for it all. Robbins, separation, catch, touchdown, Huskies. As you see him go down there at the last instance and into the end zone, and takes a, great, a little bit of shot, but Mike Price's gamble on fourth and one comes back to bite him, yes. and that's a big six now, uh, <laughs> seven points. But the block, Braxton Clemen, allowing him time to get rid of the football. 27-0 Huskies now. Anderson kicks it off, they'll squib it. Picked up in front by Scott Lundy for Washington State, and that's the end of the half. All Huskies in the first half. Apple Cup 2000. 27-0 Washington at the half on Fox Sports Net. Well, the Cougars just kicked for the first time today. Alan Cox booted it away. Sean Sweat returned it to the 32 for the Huskies. And you can bet the Dogs, the number one running team in the Pac-10, will build up some more yards on the ground in this half. And this time, Billy Newman and the Cougars are able to stop Braxton Clement. Pretty amazing. Here you see the numbers on Marcus in the first half. A great throwing half. Only carried it twice. Clement will get to the 36-yard line. Huskies on third down. They've done pretty well today. Coop showing blitz. Two is going to change the play. Huskies do a great job of picking up the blitz. Tuiasa Sopo to Elstrom. Finally brought down at the 22. He's throwing it there, and he knew he had him. Tui tripped up. Austin Matson was able to fight off. Second down, call it 13 for the dogs. Quick toss to him. Elstrom caught it, but he was out of bounds. He's gonna check out of it and look for the lob. It was tipped. Randall Smith got a finger on it, just enough. 42 so far this year, but he's been kicking well of late. Plenty of distance. And he got it. So the Husky lead is now 30 to nothing. And the Dogs keep their streak alive. They have been putting up at least 30 on the board. And they do it again today. See the way things have gone so far today. Good high kick. Ball he brought out from the two yard line by Curtis Nettles. He trips over, looks like a teammate's feet. Matt Kegel at quarterback. Two tight ends for Washington State. Play fake, Kegel has it batted down. Jeremiah Farms. Kegel, eight of 19 for only 78 yards. Needs some help from his wide receivers. Dave Minnick, close to a first down carry. First and 10, Cougars come out, two tights. Minnick tries to bounce it back. He'll be deserving of all Pac-10 mention this year. Kegel under pressure, he'll go down. Hit hard. Huskies trips to the left for Washington State. Kegel rolls the by a little time. Pump fake, now throwing it deep. Up for grabs, and it's incomplete. Kind of a sidewinder. So Ray Butler will be dropped in his tracks. First down, Huskies from their own 40. Braxton Clement will cut it back. 
and do a great job of cutting it back and end up getting nine yards on a play that was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. Enough chips could fall ahead of the Huskies that they could end up in the national championship game. Clement finds a hole and first down into Cougar territory. Every weekend you've got a game on your hand as Conniff is going to take a couple up the middle, gets brought down close to the Cougar. Dogs who are nearing 400 yards of total offense on this day. Option, Tui, pitch, Braxton Clement. Breaking tackles. You know when you have that blitzing attack type defense and you guess wrong, you, think you, have, you pay for it. Clement weaving, finding a little room where there is none. You just see the surge of that big well, offensive you know, line. Having guys with a little bit of experience under their belt. On second and six, Clement hit, falls forward. It's going to be third and about a yard. And a very good thrower back there in Drew Brees. Joe Tiller, former Cougar offensive coordinator, the head coach at Purdue. Conniff, don't think he got it. Pounding away here, fourth down and one. Clement has the first down to the five. From the five for the dogs, two tight ends. Conniff and Alexis. Conniff just keeps on going. Cougars took the football away, but simply because of the look on the scoreboard. Diving in for the touchdown. Rich Alexis. Bunch of oranges being thrown onto the people of <laughs> the Husky group. Additive to the mix. Anderson perfect on the extra point. It is 37 nothing Huskies with 4.16 left to play in the third quarter in Pullman. You're watching Apple Cup 2000 on Fox Sports Net. With some of those bodies, they shouldn't do it when the sun's out. Anderson to the goal line. Curtis Nettles trying to find some room. Cuts it back and gets drilled at the 12. You've got to throw the ball and try to make something happen in a hurry. And they'll run it. Minnick finds a little room, breaks a tackle, gets outside. Dave Minnick still on his feet, gets a block outside, and gets across the 40-yard line. First down from their own 42. Kegel changing the play call. Wants to go deep. Coming back is... McElrath makes the catch, and he gets hammered, but hangs on to the football. Minnick back in the backfield. Cougs were in scoring position once after a Husky turnover and failed to score, and they fall started there. First down Cougars at the 23, a little fake action, reversed to Nettles, and he gets hogtied, pulled down. Got Massey up at the other corner. Husky show blitz. Minnick makes him pay for it, cuts it outside. Inside the 10, first and goal, Washington State. Play fake to Minnick. Kegel rolling, here comes pressure, and he just throws it away. That should be grounded. Comes with inexperience. Intentional grounding on the offense. The quarterback did, it, did not get out of the pocket. Against Massey, let's see if they go there. Looking that way, comes back the other way, little screen to McElrath, makes the catch, cuts outside, can't break the tackle. Nice job by Hakeem Akbar. Nobody yeah. over the middle. Lob trying to get it to Marcus Wynn, or Milton Wynn. Almost made the acrobatic catch, wanted interference, doesn't get it. Drew Dunning out of Issaquah is going to try a 33-yard field goal. Out of the hole to Paul Menke, snaps high, Menke gets the hole down. And he got it. So the Cougars are on the scoreboard. They're going to cheer from the crowd. They won't be shut out on this day. 37-3 Huskies. Dunning to kick it off. It is a shorter kick. Fielded by Alexander. And he's got a hole. Out to about the 43. And late flag comes in. It's that Pac-10 rule coming into play again. New Jersey. That way. 41 seconds left in the quarter. Alexis bounces it outside. Cuts it back and has a first down at the 16-yard line. First down at the 15 officially. 
Ponoff, the fullback, a big hole. And he just carries people inside the five. Huskies have already rushed for 276 yards through three quarters in Pullman. Huskies on their way to the Pac-10 title. Fourth quarter, set to get underway with the Huskies with a first and goal with a three and two. He throws it, and Joe Collier from Spokane can't hang on. Too easy for Braxton Clement. He's over 100 yards. His first touchdown of the day. Kick the extra point. Got it. 44 to 3 Huskies. One of the more anticlimactic Apple Cups we've seen in a while. All dogs in Apple Cup 2000. We're watching college football on Fox Sports Net. The Huskies remember the day that the Cougars came into Husky Stadium and made it to the Rose Bowl. Looks like Billy Newman this time on the short kick at the 13. Try to find a little hole. Coming back, there's a flag. Pretty much take that for granted now. Uh, Mike starts to put some of his. Ten yards from the spot of the foul. First down. At any point. Kegel hands it off to Dave Minnick. He'll get about two yards. Pick up the pieces and work through it. Pressure. Kegel steps away from it, almost runs into his own man. And should be a pass interference. Boy, Josh, or Shea, there's the flag finally. Shavies was being held. Penalty is the ball be placed at the spot of the foul. Automatic first down. That drive me nuts as a coach as well. Minnick trying to bounce it outside. Met by a couple of Huskies. Gets out to the 32-yard line. Next year, of course, the Rose Bowl will host the national championship. Kegel, toss. Tough catch by Milt Wynn. Can't make it. And if you get it dedicated to Curtis Williams, come on, ending else, and that, that's what it counts. It, he always looks like that, though, even if they're down. Kegel gets it away to Meisen, but a nice play by the new linebacker, Javon Willis. Huskies come very close to getting it. To Ray Butler on the run, and look out. Nice little move there. Butler still on his feet. Huskies will have great field position. Cody Pickett. 6'4", 200-pound, 10-pound freshman out of Caldwell, Idaho. His job to hand it off. Hasn't played a whole lot so far this year, son. Dominic Dasty in there today celebrating his birthday. A good celebration for his birthday. They've got an exciting little tailback in there right now, Sean Swag. And the entire second team offensive line in there. The, the first teamers did pretty well today. Delay handoff to Sweat. Sean just keeps going, getting pushed by. You I was going to say, you talk about Kegel riding those horses, and here you got a Bronco buster here and Cody Pickett. Pressure as he gets it away, and it is knocked away by Marcus Trufant. Dead ball, unsportsmanlike conduct on the defense. That's not smart, obviously. First down Huskies, they took it from the line of scrimmage, so it is the 14. Flags fly. So the dogs, first down and five from the nine. Tharps of the motion man. Sweat has the first down. Personal foul on the defense. Another one on the coach. The goal. First down. Up getting his first carries of the season today. Chance to get his first touchdown here. Cody Pickett in at quarterback. There goes Sweat. And he'll be stopped. Ryan Long in on the tackle for Washington State. Hopefully put on a little more strength and bulk. Yeah, being 6'7". Pickett runs that option, and the Cougs make the tackle. Looks like Sweat back at the tailback slot now. Cougs dancing around, trying to fill all the gaps. Sweat gets in with the second effort. His first touchdown is a Husky. Sean Sweat. Knocks it through. 51 to 3 Huskies. Back to Pullman in a moment on Fox Sports Net.
Going to kick it off to the dogs. Knuckleball. A little angle over towards the sidelines. Billy Newman was down. Slipped and picked up the ball. Matt Kegel still at quarterback. If the Cougars were to do anything different at quarterback, it'd be Paul Menke. Mike Price with the youth of Matt Kegel wants to get him as much experience as he can get. Throws it out to Menke. Menke trying to stay in. And he'll get out to the 11. So the second down and call it eight for the Cougars. How'd you score 52 points in 1950? <laughs> that was the year they had that rabbit ball. The holiday, perhaps a BCS bowl. Kegel, pressure, he'll go down. Again. It's another good kick. Fair catch called for this time by Butler. First down, Dogs at their own 45. Matthias Wilson, the officials. Wilson again. Get about five yards. Third and five for the dogs. And let Scott throw it. We'll see. Might not have to. It was offside, Washington State, so first down for the dogs. And off to Wilson. And he'll get about a five or six yard gain on that. Wilson bounces out of one tackle and he's still going. They'll get down about the 23 yard line. Having a good time down there. Whoops. Ball start. On the it's the 26th penalty. Still first down. Still first down. Once again, the Huskies grind one out. Rick Neuheisel just got doused. <laughs> he's yelling high fives to the fans, even though he's all wet. Matthias Wilson into a group and comes back out with the football. These dogs, these young guys want to get a chance to score. Well, they might even take a knee. Classy move. That's what, uh, that's a good call right Biggest statistic on his side of the books is the wins. Bow down to him. J.K. Scott will take a knee one more time, and that'll be it. Congratulations to the Washington Huskies. Pac-10 champions. Winners of the Apple Cup 2000. For Sunny Six Killer, Clint Casper and Todd Pickett, I'm Bud Damick. So long from Martin Stadium. The Dogs win it 51-3.